address the House for one minute, revise and extend my remarks. The ladies recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to express my deepest condolences to the families of the four Israelis, three of whom are also American citizens, who were murdered by Palestinian terrorists in Jerusalem during, during morning prayers in a synagogue. My thoughts and prayers are with the people of Israel, who again have to endure another tragedy at the hands of Palestinian terrorists. It is no coincidence that this latest string of attack on innocent Israelis comes after the supreme leader of Iran urged Palestinians to use violence against Israel and called for Israel's destruction, as did the terrorist group Hamas. This is another example of Iran's dangerous meddling in an effort to attack inter uh, our U.S. interests and Israel and Hamas's continued incitement of violence and terror. There is now a clear link to terrorism in both the West Bank and Gaza, and there can be no U.S. taxpayer dollars going to support a unity government that is backed by Hamas and the Palestinian Authority. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the time. General Lady yields back for purpose of the gentleman from New York seek recognition. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute.